Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a shopping now stash episode and I am doing this with Paula and Mercedes and every month we are swatching a certain color of eyeshadow in our stash and just shopping our stash so we don't need to buy more of the, that specific color. I will link all the videos that I have done with Paula last year down below and as well the ones with Mercedes this year as well. We have done classic blue and hot pink this year and it's March, it has been St. Petro's Day, but we did Kelly Green last year, so we wanted to do something else. And we wanted to be in the green category. So I suggested forest green, because I, I didn't know, it was either a light green or a dark green. So I thought, why not do the dark green, because I was really curious about how many I actually had. And I think a forest a dark green is really beautiful. So. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven palettes. That is not too bad, but it's not a lot either. But a dark shadow is hard to get through. So I think this is okay. I have some mattes and shimmers. I actually think I only have a few mattes, maybe two. Let me show you guys my shadows. So the first shadow that I thought of when I suggested for screen was from my W7 on the Works palette, which is a dupe for the Subculture palette from Anastasia, and that is called Magnum. Magnum, this one down here. I do think it has a little bit of blue in it, but it's a dark green the most. This one could be as well, but it's more of a khaki army green. So I'm going to swatch Magnum for you guys today. And this is a matte shadow. This one right here. I think that is a pretty neat one. Really, really beautiful. We have the W7 Metal Pop Soft Metallic Shimmers. I have thought about decluttering this because I just have more or better shimmers in my collection. And I'm going to swatch the last one. This one right here. I don't think... No, they don't have any names. So this is the shadow right here. So it's kind of two different greens. But I do have some shimmers, metallics that are better the quality than this one. So that is why I have thought about decluttering it. But I'm really bad at just getting rid of stuff. I really want to use them. <laughs> then we have the Balm, Balm Jovi Rockstar Palette. This one right here. And I'm going to swatch Lead Sibylin. Lead Sibylin, this one. This is looking a little bit like the W7 that I just swatched. So let's swatch it. No, it's darker, but... So these... It's three different kinds of green, but at least we're shopping our stash and I have some options already. Okay, then we have the Hesina 2 palette from Blush Tribe. And I'm going... Oh, there's two in here. Okay, I guess we have eight. So we have Shay and Mani. These two right here. A matte and a shimmer. I'm totally okay with that. <laughs> See, I have better forest green shades than the Derby Simmer ones. This is amazing. I love this one. Blush Trap Formula. It's out of this world. Look at this. It's just like the BH Cosmetics, the new uh, formula. That is amazing. Oh my god. I'm ecstatic. That is amazing. Um, I do think I'm going to find something for my fingers because I don't think I can put these into other palettes. I will be right back. <laughs> okay, I found something. <laughs> oh my god. Let's take the BS Cosmetics Color Festival palette. Oh well. What? was my thought about this. <laughs> There's no green over here. Is it this one? This is not for screen. Okay, not going to swatch that one. Back to seven. <laughs> okay, then we have the Vice 4 palette from Urban Decay. 
And I was actually quite surprised about this one because it didn't look like a four screen in the pan. Um, this one right here. But I thought, let's try to just swatch it and see if it is what it is. Because I couldn't tell if it was a green or teal or whatever, but I think it is like a forest green. Um, it is called C Note. I do know it looks kind of pale right here. Beautiful though, but pale. Maybe it has a little bit of teal in it, but look at it. Do you see what I mean? I do think it goes for a forest green. It just has this shift to it. It's really beautiful. Then we have my Zodiac palette from BS Cosmetics. And I have the shimmer for Secretarius, my Zodiac sign. That one right there. And that is a shimmer metallic. Absolutely stunning. You want to see? I love it. So this and the first shadow from W7 was the two shadows that I thought of about this color. I have some different forest greens in my collection, but I do think these are beautiful dark green shadows. And I'm very happy that I have mattes and shimmers because then we can do a forest green look, monochromatic and everything. And at least, and at the same time, it can be kind of different. So that's really, really nice. But yes, these are my seven forest green shadows in my collection. I'm pretty excited about it. And I'm really excited to see Paula and Mercedes video and their forest greens. I love this kind of color. I don't wear it enough, to be honest with you guys, but I do love it. It is a really, really nice color. And it's really just a nice color with any types of green, actually. And you can use that with a gold or anything like that. I'm pretty happy about it and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe down below if you're new here. And you should check out Paula and Mercedes if you haven't already. And if you come from that channel, thank you and welcome. My name is Elizabeth. I'm from Denmark, so that is why I talk funny. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you like my content and you want to stick around. And I will see you guys next time. Please take care until my next video. Bye.